Uh, this is Do-Rag Wisdom, still at uh, 13 days since the coup by the right wing with the help of the uh, Democratic Party collaborators. And I'm still playing the um, Mexican music in the background because uh, if you happen to be an alt writer and you happen to just, you fell on this by mistake, Listen to the music. Listen to those that Spanish music. Stupid idiot. Espanol is just as much a part of the American fabric as English is, you dick. And by the way, the Islamics that you write, if you happen to be tuning in, the, the Islamics that you write when dicks want to register, they've been part of the fabric of this country since the 1780s. So I want to say to the leaders of the Democratic Party who stooped us big time, you know, represented uh, in part by uh, Debbie Wasserman, uh, Stuppenstuffer, Ubenstuffer, Stupper, uh, I'm going to need the Heimlich maneuver just to uh, saying her. Uh, in fact, when I say Debbie Wasserman Stuppen, I feel like diarrhea is about to settle in on me. And at a guy my age, you got to watch out any kind of physical changes. All right. I am not an expert on the millennials, but I can say, you know, I'm generous. So, I mean, I can say that as a teacher, a New York City public school teacher from uh, 1980, well, 1981 till uh, 2009, where I was thankfully had enough of my brains left that I was able to retire because I was constantly being undermined by all the bureaucrats and the, and the morons, the politicians. That's the phone in the background, I'm not answering it because you're more important, folks. Okay, now, so I, I feel that I know a little bit more about the millennial mind as, as that I taught them than, I, than, the, than the average uh, asshole on the street. So, one thing you don't do to any young person, and the millennials especially, is lie to them. Con them. You know, lead them on. Fill, uh, you know, fill them with hope, and then in the end, you, you, you say, eh, no, sorry. You can't do that. You, these, these young people today, they're going, they're surfing the web. I'm not saying what they're doing in there is all intelligent, believe me, but man. There was this Bernie Sanders, right? Here he was. A, a 70 something Jewish, uh, you know, he didn't identify as, but you know, he, he didn't deny it, but it wasn't his, he's American, you know. First thing is American, socialist, democratic socialist. And he had all these, these kids, these young people excited. He, he, they were, they, I gotta tell you, it was one of the greatest things to see. And I voted for Bernie. I didn't agree with everything that Bernie did. I didn't agree with his entire platform. But as an American, as a citizen of this country, who's been, I was born here, 19, August 23rd, 23rd August 1950, and, and you know, I want nothing best for this nation. It's a unique place. It's a beautiful place. If the right wing turds didn't try to ruin it, didn't try to reform it into their whites only uh, country club. You know, I, I don't want to live in a whites only country. So meanwhile, the, they get these kids all excited, right? And then they bring in Hillary Clinton and establish an, an establishment Democrat with the corporatist ties. And they backed her, of course, the machine of the corrupt, corporately corrupt Democratic Party backed her 100%. They, they, Debbie Bosser shithead sent out all kinds of garbage. They were going to sabotage the, the, the Bernie Sanders campaign. And they did. 
And then they expected these, these, these hypocrites, these democratic operatives, these insiders, these corporate ass kissers like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, these right wing uh, Democrats like this mansion, who, who have, who have uh, contaminated the, the party that's supposed to represent, in this time at least, in this era, the working person. But now no more, it represents the rich people just like the other party does. But you know, you mess with the wrong people. Because one thing you don't do is you don't F with young people like that. When I was a teacher, I mean, you had to be as honest as you could be. And you, and you had to be as, you had to show that you were, a, as you, that you were equal, that you were being fair, that you weren't conning anybody. And what these people in the Democratic Party did is they conned these kids. They knocked down who they wanted. They knocked down who the people they wanted and instead the, the person they wanted, Bernie Sanders, and they put up Hillary Clinton. Hillary cuckold Clinton. Hillary corporatist Clinton. Hillary conservative Clinton. A, an establishment against a, someone who claims he's an uh, who is an outsider, and believe me, Adolf Trumpler is anything but an but a, but an outsider. He's an insider, like you wouldn't believe. Like you know, he's a member of the Grab Our Pussy Party, and that's as inside as you can get, right? So what the Democratic Party did is they betrayed these kids. If I stood in front of a classroom. I would be like it would be like a it would be like a revolt, because you know you got to remember that the millennials weren't raised the same way in terms of like like my generation. I mean, a lot of these kids didn't have parents at home to raise them, so they they weren't raised to respect the teacher in the classroom the way I was. So you know you had to stand there. You had, you had to be like the parent. You had to be everybody. And if they even perceived that you were conning them, that you were being, that you were cheating, that was it. And that's exactly what the Democratic Party did to these kids. They put up a wonderful candidate in the name of Bernard Sanders, Bernie Sanders, and instead the machine, the corporate machine that has infested the Democratic Party took over, knocked him down, and then these same turds like Debbie Wasser Stuppen tried to present Hillary Clinton in the same light that these kids saw Bernie Sanders. No effing way, my friends. And now we have a destructive fascist and dictator in waiting. I, I want to see if we have another free election for president. I hope we do. But if the Democratic Party wants to learn anything at all, from a member of the newly formed extremist liberal party, Durag Wisdom in the Trump Free Networks, right here on YouTube. If the Democratic Party wants to learn anything, you don't con people, you tell it like it is, and you let people have a candidate that they want, not the candidate you want, not the candidate whose turn it is. You bring a candidate in, that the people want. And they wanted, then these kids wanted Bernie Sanders. What you did was, Democratic Party, you took a beautiful balloon ride. And in the middle of the trip, almost, well, even beyond that, you let all the air out of my balloon, our balloon, and we fell crashing to the earth. And we died. And there was a 9-11, a moral 9-11. I'll never forget the day, like 9-11. It was like the day that you nominated this dictator to be president of this country was like a traumatic experience for me. I'm still recovering from it. And I'm gonna fight it every step of the goddamn way. Legally, YouTube, legally, legally, I assure you, legally.
One thing I would never do is betray the dignity, the innocence of this younger generation, which the Democratic Party did. Shame on them. And I will fight them along with the Republican Party every step of the way because both parties together are destroying us. Because now thanks to the Democratic Party, the corporate controlled conservative Debbie Wasserman put up the Hillary Clinton establishment against this so-called outsider who wasn't an outsider, but a crooked liar Try to make everybody, try to make these young people think that's the way it is, that that's true. You betrayed these young people, Democratic Party. And you know something, this generation, they don't respect you. And they stayed away from your candidate. Your conservative, phony, but would have been a better president candidate. It is so sad, and now we're going to pay. But remember this Democratic Party, don't come to me and say, oh, we're going to put it all together, because you're not. As long as you play petty, machine, corporate, Politics.